Let's create this really cool sci-fi barrier. It's very simple to do. We'll model it in Blender, and then we'll texture it in Substance Painter. But you could easily do something in Blender for the materials, if you prefer that. All right, so over here in Blender, let's look from the front, and Shift-A, Bash Plane, go into Edit Mode, Rotate X90, and let's pull this up. And let's grab these points here, pull them up a little bit higher, S to scale, pull them in, maybe take these, S to scale, pull them out a bit, and we'll start with that shape. Okay, select the whole thing, press E to extrude, and pull it back a little bit in the Y. So we have that shape there. Let's take both of these faces here, I'd inset, and let's inset them like this. That's good. Let's look from the front, go into wireframe, and let's see. Let's grab here and let's SZ0. And let's go back into solid view and we'll get rid of this face here. Let's take these faces here and let's E to extrude SY and push to pull them in like that. And then we'll have to get rid of these faces here. Let's get rid of that face. And let's get rid of that face. And there's an edge here, so let's get rid of that edge. Okay, we have to do it twice. There's an edge here. And there. Okay, so we've got that. Now we'll do some beveling. So in edge selection, Shift Alt to click there, Shift Alt to click there, and Control B to bevel, hold down Shift, pull, get a nice curve and roll your mouse up till you have five, like that. Shift Alt to click that edge and that edge, this edge and this edge. We're gonna bevel again, just to zoom in. Control B, pull, you could probably roll back so you have a total of three edges. We could shade smooth, we'll deal with that. All right, and the way we'll deal with that is in the modifiers, we'll add a weighted normal. And normal's auto smooth, and it looks great. But, it's facing outwards. Select it all, Alt N, recalculate outside. Or maybe I said it was facing outwards, it was facing inside. So now it's facing outwards, outside. Ah. Okay, let's uh, look from the side and go into edit mode and just G, just drag it a little bit more to the center of that. On the other hand, we could select the bottom here and Shift S, cursor to select it. And then we know we're right in the middle of that because we're gonna add the base to this, so add a plane, let's look down from the top, let's go into edit mode and let's scale this in the Y so it sticks out on both sides, scale it in the X so it sticks out there relatively evenly, that's okay like that, we'll pull it up just a little bit and extrude it down like that and X faces, we'll get rid of uh, faces, yes faces. All right, let's grab these vertical edges in edge selection. And we'll give them a bevel. Control B, pull. I'm gonna have five segments in there though. And we'll grab that top and Control B. And I don't care if there's five, that's all right. And we'll shade smooth. And just for a good measure, we'll put on this weighted normal. Although we're actually gonna be joining this, so. Okay, let's just double check though that that's facing the right way, and <laughs> it's not. Okay, very good. All right, well, we're gonna join those anyhow, so let's do that. Control J. All right, good enough. Now we've got that, and now let's array this along a little bit. So we'll hit the array, we're gonna go in the Y, and we wanna come back this way, and well, let's zero out the X, and have three of them. Something like that is probably sufficient. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that. And then let's uh, shift D and rotate Z90. We'll get rid of this array, turn that right off. Look from the top and just G. I'm gonna pull this out and sort of line it up with this, this edge here. It doesn't have to be exact. I don't need to snap it or anything. Let's see what that's like bar coming out there and there. I think I'm gonna pull it a little bit closer. Okay, so there is our 
stuff so far. Let's put on the cavity shader and make it look cool. Yeah. All right, so let's do the bar now by bringing in a plane and just move it over here. Really what I want is I'm gonna line up this edge roughly with the middle, go into edit mode and we'll get rid of those two vertices. So we'll have that, let's just line it right roughly in the middle. I'll bring it up. This is gonna be at about the top third because we're gonna have three bars. I'm just poking that in. Let's take that vertex and pull it out to right about in the middle of these guys. And then we're gonna extrude it back, E to extrude. Pull it back until it just pokes into that one. Doesn't need to come through. Okay, so how is that? That is fine. Okay, let's bevel this vertex. Shift Control B, pull with five vertices in there. A nice curve like that would be just fine. All right, let's convert this to a curve by right click, convert to curve, and in the curve dialog box under geometry, bevel, hold down Shift and Click and pull to the right till you get a thickness of the bar that you like. Shade smooth. And there is our first bar going through there. The only thing I want to make sure is that we're embedded into here. Okay, we're going to make some end caps on this. So I'm going to select that vertex in this one. I want a straight section here. Shift D and P to break it out. And then we're going to edit mode on this one. Select that vertex and pull it down so it's just about there go back into object mode and in the uh, curve dialog box hold shift and just increase the diameter of that in fact we're going to be copying that control C so we'll be using that in a moment we're going to put some caps we'll fill that in in a minute too on this one so I'm going to select that vertex and this one it's a long stretch but shift D uh, P and we're gonna take this, and I'm gonna look from the side, number three, and I'm gonna pull this in to, I like the distance it sticks out. It may not be exactly the same as that one, but that's okay. I'll take that end, and I'm gonna pull just to the opposite side of that. I'll zoom in a bit, and get it roughly the way that you, the way that you like. Something like that. Go back into object mode, and down here on the curve, control V, and you'll have that, and they're the same. Okay, let's go in. I'm going to go into edit mode for that one and shift D to duplicate it. I'm going to pull it to here and line it up as best I can. I'm going to pull it to here, line it up as best I can in the middle, and then take that point and push it under so that it doesn't stick through. Don't worry about the shading issues. We'll deal with that. Okay, so, so far so good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to join them, Control J, and we'll take the whole thing now and we'll Shift D to duplicate it and we'll pull it down. We'll make one and then we'll copy it. All right, take the main bar here and let's reduce the size of that. This one's going to be a narrower one, something like that maybe, and then select these and just make them narrower as well. So I could go with something like that. We'll convert this to a mesh before we copy this one down. So coming up here, we're gonna change the resolution. I don't want 12. I want this low poly, so I'm gonna choose four for that. I can go ahead and convert to mesh. And then these, we're also gonna to switch to four for the resolution. And we will convert to mesh. Let's come in here now and in edge selection, shift alt and click F to make a face. Shift Alt to click F to make a face and try not to deselect. Shift Alt to click F, that same thing all the way along. They're all staying selected and we can bevel them all at the same time. Okay, so I'll just look at this last one here. Control B, pull, I only need three, so roll back, there's two, one more, and that one is done. Okay. We'll do the same thing here. We'll convert that to a resolution of four and convert it to a mesh. And let's see, are these joined? Yeah, those are joined. So we'll make that four and convert to a mesh. And we'll do the same thing with filling the ends. All right, good. 
Okay, so that's a mesh, and that is a mesh, so we can join those. And let's go into edit mode and shift D to duplicate and pull it down a ways. Something like that. Good. And this, we can join those. In fact, we'll be joining everything soon. So let's join this one, this one. Join those three. Hopefully we like the position of those. Everything's good. Let's apply the array on this guy. And join it to that one and join it all together now we'll come in uh, merge by distance recalculate outside and if need be we can add our weighted normal and normals auto smooth and everybody is happy and just yeah everything's good right all right so we've done it and we are now ready to texture this thing okay so i'll go into uv editing select it all you smart uv project i'm just going to leave all that and that's that and then we need to pack you can use blender i'm going to use pack master 3 just press pack and that's going to be good enough for what we're doing okay now we'll uh, save this as an fbx give it a minute there it is bake the mesh maps i'm going to use 2k uncheck id And there she is, ready to go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is add a fill layer and a filter. And for the filter, I'm gonna scroll down and use this matte finish rough. A little bit hard to see. Uh, I'm going to turn down the brush intensity and the brushing warp, and we'll change the color. And I'm gonna go for uh, sort of a dark green to gray kind of a thing. We'll get to, we'll change the the roughness on this though. Bring the roughness up so it's a little bit more like stone. A little bit. I'll we'll start with that. Hmm. Maybe a bit more gray. All right, so we'll start with that, and that's okay. And uh, that's going to be the outer base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Just a bit. We'll try that. I'm going to add a black mask to that and come over to my polygon fill. And choose this one here. Polygon. And just select the inside and oh well, I need this guy over here let's see if that's enough did I get that one it's a little hard to tell so I may come back here yeah and let's make that yeah okay I got it that's what I wanted, like that. Okay, cool. Okay, next, that's the uh, inner base. Next, let's add some metal for the bars. Uh, but we're actually going to use plastic. We'll use this plastic matte blue. And we're going to switch that to one of that kind of, you know, that, that, that kind of color, that kind of yellowish orange. Mm. All right, we'll start with that. Uh, let's bring the roughness up a little bit and put a black mask on. But this time we're going to switch to mesh and just select the bars. And that's really it. Yeah, okay. I might be a little bit too yellow, but we can always change that if we want. Yeah, okay, that. All right, let's do the caps, but let's call this bars. Let's search for metal. And this uh, iron rough, I think, ought to do the job for us. All right, it's on everywhere, so let's put a black mask. 
polygon fill and just select like that just these caps here should get the other sides that there all right this is what we have so far looking pretty cool let's do something here let's add anti-aliasing and a color profile just to make it look a little neater and what it's missing is dirt so i think i'll do this right up above okay add a fill layer black mask let's make this color and roughness let's put the roughness all the way up let's give this a brownish dark color essentially almost black anyhow let's try a generator with dirt and that's what i wanted to see there it's oh, it's, it's like a ambient occlusion just all over nice and dark a little bit on the bars and there here and there all right so this is going to be dirt we're going to go do some more stuff let's now try um i could just uh no. All right, we'll do a fill layer and a black mask, and we'll keep it white for now uh, with a generator, and we'll try metal edges, and bring that way down. I just want a, a touch of this, and I'm going to change the color to a darker color here as well, so you just barely see it, but just a little bit. I like it like that. And a little bit on here and a little bit on the edges to accentuate them. Okay, and I think maybe the last thing might be some scratches on here. All right, so this is metal edges. All right, so we'll use a fill with a black mask, and we'll add another fill. But on here, for scratches, I'll use, I'm going to do color and height, and we'll see if I like that. I'll leave it at white. We'll just drop the height down, and we'll go over to the fill so we can see the grayscale procedurals. Type in scratches. And you can choose from all these other ones. I'm going to drag that one. I almost always use that one. And you can now play around with these. Um, uh, I'm going to decrease that and decrease that. And just have a little bit of this and that here and there. And what I can do is uh, darken these as well. Sometimes I like to use almost black. Just so they're, they're there okay so they'll, they'll interact with the light and you get them on the bars as well a little bit all right so now let what we'll do is i'm going to up the resolution here to 2k we'll maximize and we'll see you can see the scratches there okay that might be a little bit too much but i'll just leave them so that at least you can see them in the video and you can tone it down as much as you like i think if i had to do this again what I would do is I think I want this a little bit more rounded all right but that's just a personal thing so there you go it's low poly it's probably around uh, 3,000 uh, vertices and you could do you could mirror it you could have two of them uh, you could have this longer whatever you like all right so that is it bring it into blender and you're ready to go